this video. Today we're out on our local, gonna go chase hopefully a few flathead, throw a few hard bodies around, a few plastics. Kids will be uh, doing a bit of bait fishing. Whole aim of today is the kids want some fish for dinner, so let's go catch some dinner. Yeah, you have a turn. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, look at the size of the flathead, it's just eating it, do not move. A massive flathead is just chasing it and eating the corn right at the back of the boat. Ollie, you're on. Ollie, you're on to a massive flathead. Come on, even champ. Go, go, one in, get his shoe. Go, Ollie. Help him with the other Ollie! Oh, oh. You're alright, mate. Take your time. Take your time, buddy. Oh. What have we got? Uh, here he is. Get that. Go, 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 go. Go wind him up. Lift it up. Don't wind anymore. Just lift the rod up. Don't wind. Just lift. Oh, you're right. Get it. So get it. Get it. Get it. We got him. Yeah, in a minute. Yeah. Ollie, you nearly got him. Here we go. Ollie! You did it all. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Look at it. First car. Oh. <laughs> Open the bail arm, sweetie. Oh. Open him up. Ollie, first cast, look at the size of it. That's your biggest flathead ever. Right, Should we get him out and tell everyone what happened? Yeah. Uh, look at that. First cast. What happened is I threw it out and we just wanted to reposition it. I just started winding it to the surface for him. And this thing I could see chasing us along the surface. Check him out. Look at it. It is a beauty. Yeah. Look at him, Mo. Oh, Dad, can we measure him? Yep, he's mold? definitely big enough. Can we talk about Oh, Ollie, he's nearly 50, 48 <laughs> centimetres. He's heaps big enough for dinner. Can we have him? Can we eat him now? Can I take him home? Yeah. Give him a kiss. No. We're going to get him. Um, my dad flew it out the back and he caught, and I caught this big, massive one. Hold him up nice and high so we can all see him. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Oh, you've got one off. Go, oh, champion. Just leave the camera there if you like this one. Yeah, keep going on. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you keep going. It's still there. Oh, is it? Where does it come off? Keep going in him. Oh, yeah. What is it? I picked it up. Oh, it's a little brim. Stop whining. Lift your rod. Oh, good job, Ollie. Oh, mummy's on. She's got a flatty on a plastic. Yeah. Oh, mummy's evil. Is this like uh, my biggest one, like what I call it? Not as big as yours. Oh, oh. oh mummy got one on a soft plastic. Um, can we eat it? Hey, soft plastic. Look at this. We're on fire. Let's measure him. I don't think he's quite legal, but how good is this? We're on fire. Mummy's into it. Woo, beauty. Flathead here on the drone. We're going to try get over and catch him. Let's see if we can do it.
and it's flat air. How big is it? Is this your biggest flat air ever? Yeah. Look at him, 48 centimeters. Wait. Wow. On the Jollop Brag mat. Check him out. Should we fill it him up? Yeah, and I'm gonna have it for dinner. Alrighty guys, got this cracking flathead, absolute ripper, he is stoked. First cast, wasn't super exciting, probably got a nice one there after on soft plastic. But I'm just going to show you how to fill it a flathead, it's pretty simple, a lot of people probably don't know. This isn't gospel, this is just how I do it, so I'll show you right now. If you don't bleed your fish properly, all the blood goes throughout your fish and it just tastes, it doesn't taste as nice, the, the flesh isn't that beautiful white. So we've, the fish has been alive in the live well. Now we've bled him out, he's uh, bled out there nice. Now we're just gonna knock the fillets off him. Alrighty, first things first, just come straight down over his backbone, hold the knife nice and flat, and just seesaw it, keeping it hard on the backbone, and just taking it all the way along, and just taking it right along like that. Now, I just leave a little piece of skin attached there like that. So what we do is, is we've got the whole fillet to hold on when we're skinning it. So run the knife in under like that. Keep the knife flat and seesaw the skin with your other hand. So you keep the flat knife nice and flat and just seesaw it back and forwards like that. And there's your beautiful fillet. So we'll just lay him there. Now all you do is the exact same thing on the other side. Just go down in over there, turn him around. Knife down, hard on that backbone. It's a little bit harder on the second side because you don't have anything firm to push on. And just run it right down like so. Now, this is a lot easier if you're on a hard cleaning tray, but when you're at the beach, you just make do. Always carry a chopping board. Same thing, just seesaw it in like so. Seesaw that back and forwards. Alrighty, now we've got our two fillets. Now rinse those off straight in the salt water. a nice clean working surface now try to avoid fresh water at all costs you don't want the fresh water you want to keep that beautiful salt water on them now if you've got two kids like we do that's that's more than enough for their dinner um, when kids are eating fish you want to make sure there's not one bone in there so I'm going to show you how to knock the bones out um, there's two ways of doing it I'll do the first way over here the main bones to a flathead is on his ribs so those bones if you can see run back on this angle so what you try and do is, is get your knife in. I just make a V. Um, you can sacrifice a little piece of the flesh, but with kids you definitely don't want bones in there. So it's better just to waste that tiny bit just to make sure um, you've got no bones in there. So I've just taken that V of the rib cage out and just leaves you with the fillet. Now that is boneless. There's not one piece of bone in that. You can see I've just got a little piece here along his back. Just trim that off like so. like that and that's ready to go fully bone free no problems with that with the kids now the other way is you can just come back and lop it straight across there but you do lose all this piece of flesh in under here so i try and keep that where possible um every little bit of meat is good because you've um, sacrificed the fish so you want to get as much off it as possible so just make that v coming up there And there you go. No bones, all ready to go. Get home, put him in the fry pan for dinner.